between time and it is more important than ever that we feel good about that time and that we don't necessarily have to participate but we decide on an individual level that we are able to control how we feel and in doing that in practicing this we will inevitably affect other people that your friends and family start to see that you're more positive than you've ever been they want to know what in the world is going on with you how are you so happy everyone's like what is and yeah, they look at my life, there's a lot of stuff to be happy about right now. But even before those things manifested, I was happy and I focused on being there. And I know that that's what has brought about this ease of which things continue to grow and to flourish. So doing this on your own is how we affect a bigger change. You guys will get the chance to check out some art, take some home. And that's what I like to paint about is how can we make a difference in, a, you know, in politics in the world on a global scale when things seem so hopeless sometimes, when you turn on the news and it's really depressing, you know, and I come to stuff like this and it gives me more hope than ever to know that they're conscious people that know that how they feel about things is super important and it's directly affecting not just what's happening in our own reality, but what's happening to this earth. Just like we have cells all in our body that make up us this one single organism, the earth is one single organism and all of us as people act just like those cells. And when cells don't communicate, that's called cancer. Right, and there's a cancer upon the earth. Definitely a lack of connectedness between human beings and the earth, and then us with each other. So, just centering yourself, taking that time to breathe. The recap of today is the overall of this practice is I'm going to take between five to 30 minutes a day, but I'm going to start with at least five, where I'm writing down the general and specific feelings that I want to obtain by having goals. Sometimes I'm going to write those goals down, but even in that, I'm focused on how I will feel once they're obtained because I know how to go about getting them. It's not the most important thing. Where I'm going isn't even the most important thing. But knowing how I feel when I get there is definitely where you want to stay focused, right? Practicing breathing, not thinking about anything else, spending, whether it's a guided meditation, whether you're in the car, wherever you can be, where you get back to that meditative state. Stop looking at it so much like a task. This is not the gym, right? It's similar in that the more you do it, the easier it gets, and the more practice, the better you get. But it can be done right where you are at any moment in time. So take off that pressure of it having to be such a task and accept it as a state of mind and a place that you can go in any time. And, and a really important place to tap into because that's what helps you press the reset button, you know? And sometimes that's what you gotta do, you gotta restart. You get rid of computer issues, you know, you just restart. Um, being super focused and conscious of what you're saying, feeling, and thinking, that's the easiest part now. It seems like it'd be a full time job, but it becomes easier when you care. Once I started caring, the good felt really good and the bad felt really bad, and it made me want to avoid the bad. And, and well, I use the word avoid, but what I mean is to process it differently because you can't avoid the bad, right? The contrast is always gonna be present. It's gonna exist to show you what it is that you do want and where you're headed, so you have to learn to appreciate it. You do, even the stuff that doesn't seem to make any sense right now, there is a silver lining somewhere. And being open and willing to find it one day, whether it be in that moment or not, if I can't find it in that moment, I'm gonna move on entirely, right? But I'm gonna make every effort to reach for a better feeling thought. Let's hear that hear that from Abraham Hicks also, reaching for a better feeling thought. When I'm thinking something doesn't feel good, I'm gonna care enough to think about something else. It's that simple, even if it's just for a moment. It's amazing what diverting your attention off of that negative vibration to a vibration of gratitude or appreciation, what that does for you overall in your well-being. It's a game changer, it's huge, okay? In practicing this yourself, you don't try to change other people, but you will attract people that are on the same vibration. You'll meet more people in the most random ways that are doing this, that are talking about it, that want to practice with you. So keep it up.